Hey everyone, it's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. Today I'm sharing a short and sweet little video with you with a new fall craft project. Today we're going to make yarn pumpkins, cute little farmhouse style, cozy pumpkins for fall. I will forewarn you, this is not something that I would classify as a 30 minute craft project. This is what I put in the category of Friday night with Netflix and a glass of wine kind of a craft project, you know, think like cross stitch embroidery, something that isn't super mentally taxing, kind of repetitive, and is really great to keep you busy when you're vegging out with a movie on Netflix or Hallmark Channel um, on Friday night. So I think the results are totally well worth it. I'm so excited to share this super easy project with you. Let's get making. pumpkins you only need a couple of basic supplies hot glue and scissors for starters as well as fake pumpkins and yarn I bought my pumpkins on sale at the craft store and the yarn was a clearance buy the only thing to remember with the yarn is to buy a thicker yarn if you use a skinny yarn this project will take forever and I honestly don't think the pumpkins will look as good so grab a good chunky yarn in a color that you like you will want to begin by cutting a few short lengths of yarn. Just measure one strand from stem to bottom of the pumpkin. Then use that length of yarn as a template to cut a handful more. These will be the first pieces of yarn that you attach to the pumpkin. Next, you will want to secure a piece of yarn in every crease around the pumpkin. Twist one end of the yarn before securing it near the pumpkin stem with hot glue. To keep from burning your fingertips, you can use the end of the scissors to hold the yarn in place until the hot glue takes hold. Secure each piece of yarn with hot glue at the top, middle, and bottom. So repeat this process all the way around the pumpkin, being sure you twist each end of the yarn before you glue it in place. This will help ensure you don't have frayed ends sticking out when you finish with all the yarn. Make sure you get the end of the yarn as close to the pumpkin stem as possible so that all of the orange is covered. spaces between the first pieces of yarn. To do this, I prefer to double up the yarn every time. So cut a double length of yarn, then fold it in half. Glue the fold near the stem, secure once in the middle, and then twist the two single yarn ends at the bottom of the pumpkin with more glue. By placing the folded end at the top near the pumpkin stem, this limits the number of frayed ends. So then you just repeat this process in each section until the pumpkin is completely covered. Like I said, it takes a bit of time and can be repetitive, so pop in a movie or a good podcast. I love how cozy these yarn pumpkins are for fall. That chunky knit yarn really adds an extra element of texture that's so soft. And you know I love my neutral home decor palette. I hope you enjoyed this fall craft tutorial. Until next time, happy making.